biggest influence isn't really like a band or nothing. Uh, more like guitar players, like Steve Ray Vaughan or um, Dole Bramhall or Eric Clapton. Like people that play the Crossroad Festivals, those kind of dudes, blues guitarists. What band are you really into at this moment in time? Kind of, I mean, if it's got great blues guitar into it, I, I, listen, I listen a lot of uh, Doyle Bram Hall, uh, the second, the younger guy. Um, what song do you sing in the shower? Mm, whatever's playing on the radio in there. <laughs> I don't have a specific song. Uh, when did you start playing? I started playing uh, music when I was really young, but I started playing guitar, I'd say my sophomore year in high school. Um, where's your favorite place to eat in Charleston? Fair place to eat would be, uh, there's an awesome place in Goose Creek <laughs> called Tanishi's. I love that place. Yeah. Favorite kind of Dorito? I'm not a big fan of Doritos. I like baked Lay's. <laughs> Where do you see yourself musically in five years? In five years, um, I was reading up on Corey Smith last night, and Corey Smith, like, he got big within five years, and he made, like, $7.5 million just touring last year. Yeah, and he's independent. So I'm hoping if we do it right in five years, we can maybe start making some money. Creamy or crunchy peanut butter? <laughs> uh, crunchy. Crunchy peanut butter. Yeah. What kind of gear do you use? A lot. Um, tonight I'm only playing acoustic, but I have like 20 pedals and they're all like 200, 300 bucks a piece. You could meet any musician who would it be? If I could be any musician? You could meet. Oh, meet. Mm. I don't know. If I can meet any musician, I'd say maybe, maybe Eric, or maybe BB King, because he's he's getting old. So I'd like to meet him.